FNAF 2 is the perfect sequel to the original. Nearly everything was an objective improvement. The hype for the game was pretty real and it holds up today. But with a new game comes new problems. Let's start with an obvious one, Mangle. Mangle seems like such a last second addition, but at the same time, she's mentioned in the phone calls, so maybe those were rewritten? I don't know, but the way Mangle appears on the cameras is super stupid looking. Literally looks like a PNG. Once you notice, you can never unsee it. The lighting of it just doesn't match with the flashlight of the cameras at all. It's like she unnaturally lights herself up. My theory is that the game was too easy without her, so she was a last second addition, but like, the shadows don't line up, like, it, it's just weird. I want to put an anti-material round right through it. You may not care when you first discover her in the game, but once you notice, it's really hard to take it seriously. It doesn't ruin the atmosphere of the game, because let's be honest, if you're looking through the cameras at all, you're throwing, which we'll talk about later, but still, a patch wouldn't have gone awry. Okay, this is kind of a high tier complaint, but why is Toy Bonnie the only exception to how vent animatronics work? I want to take his bulbous ears and shove them down his throat. I have to imagine it was a balancing act, but still, this has ruined more Golden Freddy runs than any other animatronic. I know this because I played 20 mode without him and it was dirt easy in comparison. I don't know, locking you into an animation just stands out once you get hit on the harder nights. And Toy Bonnie can also just kill you without warning, unlike the other animatronics that also lock you in an animation. He's the worst of both worlds. When I heard people say they hated Toy Bonnie, I didn't get what they meant until I actually played 20 mode for myself. Now I get it. Now I hate his guts, which you won't have any of when I get my hands on him. There is no fix for this, outside of reworking the whole game. And I'm not a game designer, so I won't do that. I guess 20 mode wouldn't be the same without him, so it's a complaint I have to unfortunately live with. The flashlight has a limited battery, which doesn't make much sense, since you're never going to run out of battery. The only time I can see your flashlight depleting is when you first play the game, and you're looking through the rooms, looking around frantically for animatronics, and your light kind of runs out faster than you think it would. Once you get settled though, there's no reason to use the flashlight in the cameras, and the hallway is not enough to drain the battery, even on Golden Freddy mode. Again, a balanced thing, but I don't see the point in the battery being limited. Also, how does Balloon Boy disable it? What does he do? It's not a complaint, it's just an observation. I'm not saying the battery should be unlimited, but I don't think anyone would notice or care if it was. If anything, it makes a useless mechanic even more useless. The cameras. I alluded to this a minute ago, but the cameras are basically useless. There's no reason to look at the animatronics or any of the rooms outside of easter eggs because it is simply a disadvantage to do so. It provides no gameplay advantage, it doesn't help you survive better, it's only there for the puppet's music box. Granted, that's a good gameplay mechanic, and it makes the whole system have a point, but there is something that I've only noticed recently, and that's how useless the cameras are in this game. At least in the first game, you could watch Freddy and slow him down, and you could kind of like hip-hop between cameras to figure out where he's at, but in this game, it's literally just the music box. I wish there was a system where you could freeze certain animatronics in the cameras, that way you could sort of incentivize the player to try and set them up in a way that makes survival just, you know, a little easier. Kind of like the living room level in the Joy of Creation story mode. But ultimately, it's a shame, because the cameras are a wonder for atmosphere and immersion, but it does nothing for gameplay. They go from cool to being a waste of time. The biggest complaint I've seen recently is RNG. While yes, this game has a lot of RNG, I still think 3 is worse about it because true RNG works both ways. FNAF 2 is just hard. <laughs> the order of animatronics is a huge factor, as being too spread out will likely result in death, since you don't have time to hit the music box. Now let me also say that this is only a problem for new players and 20 mode masochists, because honestly, the most popular way to play can easily take out any other challenges. So while this is a complaint, I doubt it matters to too many people. But it is worth mentioning. And I'm sorry, but outside of the challenge modes, RNG plays a minimal part if you're actually good at the game. That's my takes on all the problems that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 has. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Thank you for watching. Yeet. <laughs>